Hello, my friend. The 21 Days of Beauty sale is upon us, and upon me are all of the people saying, wait, Jen, are you gonna do 21 Days of Beauty again this year? Where's your 21 Days of Beauty video? You know, I would love to get it up earlier if Ulta would just release the sales just a little bit earlier. <laughs> but I got this out as fast as I could. I know I missed the first couple of days, but in return for your patience, I am giving you two videos, which I think are gonna give you pretty much everything you need for the sale starting today. We're gonna be talking about my top five recommendations for skincare and then my bottom five do not recommend. So if that sounds interesting to you, oh, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. Before we get started, I just want to give a disclaimer that I am not a cosmetic professional. I am not an esthetician. I am not a dermatologist. I am a not a cosmetic chemist. I am a makeup and skincare enthusiast who enjoys researching about makeup ingredients. So make sure you talk to your dermatologist or other professional that you trust before trying or not trying any products. This is just my opinion based on personal experience and ingredient lists, and I'm very excited to share with you my thoughts. All right, let's start with one of my favorite brands, Strivectin. Now, Strivectin is notoriously very, very expensive, but I personally feel like it's expensive for a good reason. Usually their products are very heavily packed with research-based, science-based ingredients that I personally really love to see in skincare. So the ones that you wanna keep your eye out for during the sale, March 17th, the Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Correct vitamin C serum. Whenever I can get Strivectin at a half price point, yes, that is, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for because it is quite pricey. Now, this is going to be especially good if you're looking for anti-aging solutions and or acne prone skin solutions. If you watch a lot of skincare YouTube, you probably have heard people talk about how vitamin C is very good for your skin, but ascorbic acid, which is a common vitamin C ingredient, can be quite unstable. The derivative that is in here is actually more stable than ascorbic acid, and it is especially touted for people that have acne prone skin. It's supposed to help fight the bacteria that causes some forms of acne. It also is a great antioxidant. It also could help encourage collagen production. It could also help fade hyperpigmentation. It's just overall a really good ingredient. Along with that, there's some really good humectants and moisturizers and antioxidants in this product, as well as retinol. And that's another one you've probably heard of so many times. <laughs> I'll link a video for you down below that's really good at explaining the difference between tretinoin and retinol and retinol palmitate and the different versions. Basically, the higher the strength, which would be tretinoin, is going to cause more like problems with people with sensitive skin, but you're also going to get more effects from it. And then the weaker you get, that kind of flip-flops. So retinol, which is what's in here, is kind of in the middle of that range. And why am I doing all of this with my hands? I don't, I, I just feel like there's, I don't know, the hands are a little out of control today. Just calm it down. It is important to note though, you shouldn't use retinol if you are pregnant. I don't think I've talked about it on the channel, but because I feel like that's something that is told to patients from their doctors, but it's something I wanna start mentioning just in case you weren't aware of that. The only thing I wanna mention about this as a negative is it does have fragrance in it. So if you're anti-fragrance, most of these products in the sale are gonna be a no-go. The other product from Strivectin that you wanna watch out for is on March 24th. It's the Strivectin SD Advanced Plus Intensive Moisturizer and concentrate for wrinkles and stretch marks. And every time I see a product that says it's for stretch marks, my red alarms start going boop, 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 boop. No product can get rid of stretch marks, but the American Academy of Dermatology does say that there are some ingredients that can help maybe make your stretch marks a little less noticeable. So this does have some of those things in there. The big thing that it does have in here, which is a very common ingredient, is hyaluronic acid. That is an ingredient that is known to plump the skin temporarily. The other ingredient, just side note, is that tretinoin that we just talked about. That's not in here. In case you were curious, the reason why you can't get rid of stretch marks is because the stretch marks happen way too low in your skin and the skincare can't really get down in there in order to treat that. But doctors do say that with stretch marks, the sooner you start treating them after they form, the more likely you are to be able to minimize their appearance. So what I'm trying to tell you <laughs> 
<laughs> is that I wouldn't take the stretch marks claim super seriously, especially if you have older stretch marks. But that being said, this also looks like a really nice anti-aging product. There's glycerin, which is the humectant that's similar to hyaluronic acid that's gonna pull water into your skin. It's got a non-flushing form of niacinamide because some people get a flush to their skin when they use niacinamide. So there's a version of that in here that's better for people that do get flushing with niacinamide. A bunch of moisturizing ingredients, emollients, peptides, antioxidant, looks like a great product. Speaking of hyaluronic acid, I couldn't get through the sale without talking about one of my favorite hyaluronic acid products, which I discovered this year, the New Face Leave-On Gel Primer. When I tell you I use this product before I film every single time that I film, that is the truth because I feel like it temporarily plumps my skin, really makes my skin look pretty, uh, but, but very important to top it with another moisturizer after you use it to kind of hold all those humectants in, but that's gonna be on sale. And it looked really cheap, like the smaller version that I have looked super cheap, it was like under $10 because you're supposed to be using it with the new face device. It's like kind of an accessory to that, but I just use the gel. I don't use the device anymore. These are products I have heard about all over the internet. They're kind of a viral sensation and they're zit stickers. They are going to be on sale on the 24th and these are the good getter ones. And I do think these are gonna be great for the right person after I did a little bit of research on them. But one thing that's really important is that the pimple that you're putting the zit sticker on, it has to have some kind of fluid in it for it to do anything. The patch itself is supposed to help to absorb that liquid. So if there's no liquid, it's not gonna to do what you wanted to do. It's supposed to kind of flatten out the pimple without you having to pop it. The actives in here are awesome for acne prone skin. Niacinamide, vitamin C, which is the ascorbic acid, but we'll talk about why it might be okay in this. Salicylic acid and tea tree oil, those are all just science-based ingredients for acne. Because the ascorbic acid goes bad when it hits light and air, because you're trapping this and the other ingredients underneath that like Band-Aid-like material, it's less likely to become volatile and inactive. But if you have sensitive skin, or if you're sensitive to any of these ingredients, that trapping of those ingredients right on your skin may cause some irritation. So just be aware of that. But the ingredients on this look super legit. March 25th, we're getting into more hydrating products. You can have dehydrated skin, even if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, if you have combo skin, you can still have dehydrated skin. Having hydrated skin is important for all skin types. So I definitely recommend if you don't have a hydrating moisturizer, this may be a time to get one or you know pick one up at your leisure. <laughs> so the Murad Nutrient Charge Water Gel, lots of humectants way up at the top, again, to pull that water into your skin. Then there's three different types types of ceramides. And what ceramides are in your skin is if you think of like the way that bricks are layered, you have like the mortar between the bricks and that's what ceramides are within our skin and our ceramides get depleted. Unlike some ingredients like collagen, when you apply them topically, it's not gonna replace the collagen in your skin. But ceramides can help your skin be smoother. It can help with uh, repairing your skin. It can help to maintain your skin barrier. It can help you just have overall optimal skin health. Ceramides Ceramides are a fantastic ingredient. It also has a peptide complex in there. Peptides are, don't have a ton of research behind them, but I personally love to have peptides in my skincare. I've had great experiences with peptides just making my skin look beautiful. It, there's anti-aging effects potential there. Uh, your skin texture, your pore size, all of those things with peptides, definitely possible. I love peptides. Aww. There's also <laughs> vitamin C, niacinamide, and urea, which is an excellent skin balancing ingredient and don't worry it's not urine it's synthetic people ask me that every time i talk about urea wait i'm not putting pee on my face it's not pee i promise it's synthetic it's it's urea not urine just just to make sure because i'm anybody freaking out Another product, if you're looking for something similar to that that I own that I absolutely love is the Beekman 1802 Milk Drops on March 29th. Really, really love those. Also the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream on March 31st. Or if you're looking for something lighter, the COSRX Propolis products on March 31st also look really nice. There's just so many really good hydrating products in the sale this time. The last one I wanted to highlight is is actually one that was sent to me in PR for a sponsored video a while back that I was super skeptical of until I got it in my hands, read the ingredient list, and I was like, oh, like this, 
This actually looks pretty legit. Teamy Blends Green Tea Blend Detox Mask. Yes, Teamy Blends, the detox tea people. But I, I do, I, mm, that's why I was skeptical, <laughs> okay? But the skincare actually is really good. And let me tell you why. This is gonna be great for people with oily skin because it does have lots of oil absorbing properties in the mask. But along with that, they've also put in hydration and moisture properties as well. So while it is, you know, kind of trying to calm your oil production down, it's also giving you hydration and moisture so that your skin doesn't get stripped from the other ingredients. There's also skin suit the ingredients in here and of course there's green tea in here which is a fantastic antioxidant it does have lemongrass extract in here which is a potentially skin sensitizing fragrance some people care about that some people don't if that if that's you you're not going to want this but if you do have oily skin and you're looking for a good clay mask this one is pretty legit there's so much good skincare in this 21 Days of Beauty I did want to give some honorable mentions to anything Paracone MD i freaking love that brand. The Andy Lee toner that's on there, I actually got that in a Beautylish Lucky Bag years ago and I freaking love that product. It's great for hydrating and skin soothing. You don't really need a traditional toner the way that we thought about toners 10, 15 years ago, but this one's really nice if you're looking for like a just skin soothing and more hydrating. Um, but then again, make sure you're topping it with a moisturizer. It's a great product. And then finally, the first day beauty stuff on April 1st, that stuff looks really nice too. All right, let's get into the bottom five skincare. All right. This is just this is just personal. I am not a fan of philosophy skincare. I have never seen something from philosophy that I looked at and I was like, dang, that looks legit. None of it looks legit. So let's talk about Sunday, March 21st, the Purity Facial Cleanser. Really, it's just a very basic cleanser. No real bells and whistles, lots of different types of fragrance, just, it just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. We can do better. We can do better. Similar concept with the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel on Saturday, Sunday, March 28th. Again, just a basic cleanser, lots of fragrance. We can do better. Monday, March 22nd, the Lancome Tonique Comfort Rehydrating Comforting Toner with Ox, 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 Ox some kind of honey. The base on this is just really boring. It's just water and basic humectants and silicone, probably mildly effective, but super boring. It's like at this price point and it's Lancome, I feel like it should give me something else. Give me something more. Eventually you get way down to the bottom of the ingredient list, you get to the honey. There's so many good honey-based products out there. If you want the humectant honey in your skincare, there's so many things, especially check out K-Beauty. Don't, don't do that with the, with the Lancome one. It's, it's not, it's not good. It seems like they're just pretty much using the honey for marketing rather than actually including enough honey to have it like be good in the product. Probably part of the reason why they have that in there is because it's a toner. And if you put too much of the honey in, it'll probably thicken it too much. So like I get it, but that's gonna be a no for me. This one's a real big no. I don't like this one at all. Tuesday, March 23rd, Origins Ginseng SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. The top is just humectants and texture ingredients. There are so many citrus extracts in here. I'm okay with them when they're a little lower down. It's kind of like, I'd rather them not be there, but I'm not gonna be bothered by it too much if they're like way down. They are way high up, like way too high up to, for, mm -mm. I don't know exactly where the 1% mark is, but it just seems, it's it's concerning. I, I, I don't want my citrus extracts that high up. Lemon peel oil, grapefruit peel oil, spearmint leaf oil, ugh, orange pe peel oil, as well as limonene, linalool, citral, no. And nothing on the top makes it stand out as being good. And there's so many fragrances, so this is definitely gonna be a no. Speaking of juice, we got the Mott's for Tots of skincare, <laughs> Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. That's on Sunday, March 28th. And if you've seen my 21 Days of Beauties before, I always talk about this product and how it just makes absolutely no sense. This is my understanding of the science of it. If I'm wrong, I will totally back it up, but I've been told when I've talked about this before that I've got this. So stem cells can be great. When you are using apple stem cells on apples, you're doing good. When you're using human stem cells on humans, you're good. When you're using rabbit stem cells on rabbits, you're good. But if you try to take an apple stem cell and try to do something cool on a human, 
It just doesn't make sense. Going back to basic science, when, when you were taking science and learning about cells, the difference between a plant cell and an animal cell, it's total, they're totally different. Like I don't, the, the science is just not here in my opinion and my personal research. I could be missing something, but to me, it makes absolutely no sense to base your entire skincare line on plant stem cells doing something for human skin cells. That being said though, there are some good hydrating ingredients in here. Apple juice, believe it or not, is a great hydrating and moisturizing ingredients. There's aloe juice, which is skin soothing. There's glycerin, which again is that water, it's gonna bring the water into your skin. There's also vitamin C and vitamin E, but lemon juice is the third ingredient. Like ba a basic, you know, this is like level one skincare is you do not wanna put lemon juice on your skin. I And it's so expensive. Juice Beauty is just so expensive. Lemon juice is the third ingredient, no, no. No, 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 no. Yes, there can be some antioxidant properties in any kind of citrus extract. Yes, there could be some brightening properties, but the photosensitivity potential of this is just, it's a no-go. And the, just the skin sensitivity of putting lemon juice on, just no. And finally, another one I bring up pretty much every time I do one of these sales, Mario Badescu with their just terrible skincare. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of Mario Badescu. March 29th, they have the Spritz Mist Glow Set. It's basically fragrance water. You are buying a bottle of water with essential oils in it, basically. There is water, there's a humectant, but then the fragrances like lavender, peppermint, gardenia, it may be a little skin soothing, but you are not doing your skin any favors with these sprays. Zero, no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. At this point, my friend, it is your turn. In the collective brain of Makeup Osmus, I would love to know your thoughts on the skincare offerings from Ulta for 21 Days of Beauty this season. I these, these are just my thoughts, but I wanna know your thoughts, especially if you've tried some of the things that I haven't personally tried. Have you had a better experience than what I'm describing? Have you had a worse experience than what I'm describing? That's how we work together as one giant brain to help each other to not buy crap, so please, Please leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. And while you're there, if you could hit the thumbs up button, it only takes a second for you and it really helps me a lot in the algorithm to share this with other people if you did find the video helpful. And if you would like to watch another one of my videos, YouTube should be recommending a couple for you right over here. But if it is your time to go, it is no problem at all. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. Look out for my makeup version of this video coming out this Friday. Mad love to you and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.